Hello, my name is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. I'm doing a unit on Java programming with my eighth grade programming class, working on uh, the Android operating system. Uh, hopefully get uh, some of these kids up to speed so they can actually write some simple applications and uh, work uh, that work well uh, on Android. Uh, we've even purchased uh, some developer phones for our class for the kids to uh, be able to uh, test their actual applications um, on. So we're excited about that. In uh, this particular tutorial, uh, we're going to talk about uh, objects and how to create uh, an object based on a prototype class. Um, if you haven't watched uh, my previous videos on Java that include setting up the development environment, the Android software development kit, and uh, if you're a beginner to Java, you might want to check out the video just on variable types and procedural programming. Uh, that would be helpful. Now, this is designed as a review for my eighth, uh, my eighth grade class. This is content that uh, I'll expect um, all the students in the class demonstrate proficiency with. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, new Java project. And uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call it Triple A Project. I'm going to push it up to the top of the list. And I'm just going to click Next and then Finish. And we'll go ahead and do all this from scratch. Um, I will mention that I am self-taught in this area entirely. Uh, if anyone out there is watching this would like to correct anything that I say or uh, give me some advice on how I might um, spell things out more concisely or maybe there's an easier way to do it, please feel free to uh, let me know in the comments section of this uh, particular uh, video or any video that I produce. Inside of the uh, source directory, I'm going to create a new package. And I'll just keep it consistent here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this triple A package. And we're going to click finish because we're going to have two classes. So we're going to need a, a package here. Uh, I'm going to create a new class. All right. And the class for this particular class, uh, I'm going to call this uh, main class. It's a public class, all right? But down at the bottom, we're going to check the box that says public static void main. This would be what the user would execute in order to run the program, all right? And you can see here that we've got our main class, and it's got our public static void main method, uh, indicating that this is our main class. We're also going to create a secondary class. This is going to become a prototype object that we'll be using. And uh, let's go ahead and create new class. And uh, the name of this class, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to call this math class because we're going to do some just a simple uh, piece of math with it. M math class public. And we're not going to check public static void main because this is not um, our main class. All right. So we've got math class.java and we've got main class.java. All right. So inside of math class.java, the first thing we have to do inside of any class is set up a constructor. So uh, I'm going to set up a blank one, public um, class, and then uh, math class with two parentheses. And then I'm going to put in a bracket, all right? And uh, I didn't mean to put class there. That it's, it's a method, not a class. So public math class, OK, with two brackets, all right? And that's uh, called a constructor. And uh, sometimes. Um, it requires uh, certain classes require certain information uh, before to in order to set themselves up. This time we're leaving it blank. Uh, we're going to create another method here, and I'm going to call this public. And we need to set a return type on this method, public double. We're going to return a double, which is a decimal value. And I'm going to call this public multiply uh, multiply. All right, it's going to be a function or a method that's going to multiply two numbers. All right. Um, we need to tell it what type of variables to expect. So I'm going to say, okay, this is going to expect a double, two doubles. I'm going to just, just call them double X and double Y. It doesn't matter what you call those two doubles, okay? Um, and I'm going to give it a return type. You're going to have to return. I'll set up a variable to return, double Z and return Z. Okay, so we've got a... Um, double Z is right now blank, so double Z equals zero. Okay, um, and it's a double, so zero, zero point zero. How's that? Even better. All right, so what I've got is I've got a method here that says public double multiply. It's expecting two variables. I've set up a, a double value inside of this method, 
uh, called z. I've set it to the value of 0, and I'm returning z. So no matter what right now, this particular method is going to return 0. Uh, we're going to change that, though. Uh, we're going to say z equals x and then times y. All right? Boom. So x is passed into the function, y is passed into the function, x times y is set to the value of z, and it will return z. So the calling function will get whatever two numbers we pass in and multiply it and return it. Okay, so this is called, once again, we are working in, just as a reminder, for those of you that are new to this, mathclass.java. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And now let's return to our main class. Okay, so here we have our main class. It does absolutely nothing right now. Um, we want to use it uh, as a way to utilize the method of math class. So we're going to set up an object, just like you could set up here. Let's zoom in. Just like you could set up an integer, I could say int x equals 1. Well, x is of a type integer, okay? Um, that's a simple type. You can also have types that are objects or classes. So I'm going to set up an object that is of type um, math class. So I'm going to say math class my uh, new object equals new math class. All right. So what I've done is I've created a new object based on math class called my new object that has all the properties of math class. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a double variable here and I'll say double AA. All right. And we'll say AA and we'll set it value equal to the value of my new object. And if you've done it right and you hit the period, Eclipse is going to take a look and it's going to find multiply there. Okay, because we created a method within the math class called multiply that expects double X and double Y. Eclipse knows that's there and it's going to set it up. Now we just have to pass it two values. So X will say, I don't know, 10 and then 5. All right. And that would be a semicolon. Okay, so I've got my new object dot multiply 10, 5. Basically passing in the values of 10 and 5 to that method we just created in math class. All right, well, let's go ahead and check the value of that using system.out.println. System.out.println. And we're going to print the value of AA. And now AA is set to 10 times 5 which should be, of course, 50. I'm going to save that up in AAA project. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose run as Java application. And if you look down in the console, you'll see that it will give you an output of 50. All right. So the concept of creating an object based on a class, all right, and then utilizing a method that you've set up within that class is a concept that is crucial to Java programming. It's crucial to uh, working with Android. You have to be comfortable with it. You have to be able to um, dig in and uh, you know recognize what's there. So thanks for watching, and uh, keep an eye out for my next tutorial.